Hi, I'm Martha Dodd and welcome to my studio. Uh, I'm a fine artist living in Southwest Florida and I do uh, realism um, and fantasy, but I'm here today to show you how uh, to stretch a canvas. Now, um, I'm adding a little twist to this. Uh, I travel during the summertime and I go, I fly to a lot of places and I create paintings there. So uh, for me, because I like to paint large, um, I will paint on canvas that I've clipped to a hard surface and then I roll it up and then I bring it back here and I stretch it. So uh, here's an example of a painting that I did in that manner and uh, this is the gallery wrap and uh, I painted it in advance so uh, this just this is just a toned canvas here uh, so it's got a very nice edge to it um, I'm going to show you how I did it so uh, when I got back to the US I ordered some stretcher bars that uh, um, I've already assembled here I've put them together, put a couple staples in the corner. Um, you know, you want to make sure it's nice and square. You can do that a number of ways. You can either measure corner to corner here and corner to corner here to make sure that it's perfectly square. Um, you can use a device like this that you just clamp onto your surface like so and uh, tighten it down. And I have a few of these, so I put on more than one. And then I put a couple staples in the side. Now, when it comes, there's a, also another way, and I also, will, you know, use this triangle. There's all kinds of triangles you can use, but uh, I verify that it's nice and square using this. Okay, now um, I I like to work with two staple guns because it's you know faster for me and I like to use two different lengths of staples so uh, for the corners you just saw me do I use my longer staples because I really want to hold those corners nice and square um, when I am securing the corners of my at the end I'm going to use the long staples too because I'm going through several layers of canvas in the corners um, then the short staples I use in case I need to pull canvas free because I need to make an adjustment one way or the other and the long staples you can pull on the canvas and actually tear it and so in order to avoid that happening I use these short staples now what is short um, well in this case uh, let's see these are the short staples um, this might be reversed in the, oh, it is reversed, but um, I'll tell you it's um, eight millimeters or five sixteenths inch deep. And these are the T50 arrow staples. Um, now, for, you can use six millimeter too. Eight or six is fine for your short staples. And for your long staples, um, it's the 10 millimeter or the three eighths inch deep. And again, it's the T50. So, I have a canvas that I had painted in Switzerland. Um, this is a really good example. Uh, I did measure out the size I wanted, which is in this case 16 by 20 inches. Uh, then I didn't exactly center it on my canvas perfectly, so you can see I've got it extra size on this side. So you want to be aware of that when you're positioning your canvas. So I'm going to uh, lay it face down on my surface and uh, I'm going to adjust this so that you can see what I'm doing better. Okay. I'm new to this so bear with me <laughs> okay so um, you can see I have some foam core down here this is so that uh, you protect the surface of your painting I mean it's pretty durable this is oil paint on canvas but uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to 
check my edge and make sure that it's lining up here. Let me check the other edge here. Looks like it's lining up here fairly well. Then I'm going to check up and down. That edge looks good. looks good okay so now that I've got that I'm going to take my short staples which I hear. okay I'll put a couple of staples in the middle set it up on its edge and then I take my canvas pliers which you can buy at most art stores although these days most it's harder and harder to find them you might have to go online for them but uh, you take it this way I put it on I hold it level and then I pull down about a quarter turn not not a lot more you don't want to over tighten it because over tighten it then you can especially with this is a gallery wrap so it's a little, little harder to screw that up but the the regular you know five eighths or three quarter inch ones you can you can get them twisted and then they don't want to lay flat so you don't want to over twist it so maybe a quarter to a third of the way down you hold hold it with your hand here in. Okay, I'm going to check the front now. Ah, now see, this is why I use the light staples. So you can see I've got an edge showing here and I misjudged it. So the good news is that all I have to do is pull on the canvas because I use the short staples. Be, be careful not to tear it. I keep a little jar here to collect my staples so they're not everywhere and I don't step on them in my bare feet. Okay, so I am going to pull this one out. Boom. So, so simple. Okay, so I'm going to slide it. Let's see. Obviously, if you were you're just stretching a canvas and it hasn't been painted on it, that wouldn't be a big deal. But okay, so you can see that there's a little bow in the middle. That's okay because I'm going to straight straighten that out when I pull on this on the side. I have some excess here. I'm going to cut that off in a minute, but uh, for now, I'm just going to just kind of fold it a little bit with my canvas pliers. Reach in as far as I can. There we go. Pull it tight. Press it down. Okay. So now looking at this, I've got some excess canvas here so I'm just gonna trim that back with my scissors you can use a razor knife if you want to but I find scissors work very well
Okay, these other edges are fine. Okay, so now I can proceed. So now that I've got two staples here, two staples here, two staples here, and two staples here, I'm going to now just work my way towards the corners, one pull, two pulls, and I'm going to give a little tug down here just so it stretches it this way, and we get a nice even stretch, and that's, that's the goal, a nice even stretch. It doesn't have to be as tight as you can make it. it it just has to be, t it does have to be tight. You know, you want it to have a nice drum sound when you touch it, but you don't want it tight enough that it screws up uh, your stretcher bars and makes it not flat anymore. Then you go to the opposite side. Same thing. Now on a big canvas that becomes more very important to do is I suggest giving a little tug on the end there because you don't want to get to the end and find that it's not tight enough here. And I'd like to also point out don't don't get too deep into the corners with your staples because it makes it harder for you to make a nice corner at the end. Okay, so I've got the two sides and I'm going to do the two opposite sides. I've been doing this a lot of years. I used to work for a big art company in Deerfield Beach. And uh, so I learned some things there, but a lot of things I've learned through my own experience, you know. I've been doing this 35 years now. So I used to do more murals. Uh, and now I'm transitioning as I've gotten older into um, doing fine art. So, all right. Okay, so I'm going to tip this up a little bit more here. Okay, so now you can see me. So now to do the corners, I'm going to tighten this side, then I'm going to press it over the end and I'm going to take this little wrinkle here, so you can see, I'm going to take this wrinkle here, I'm going to fold it down, then I'm going to push this underneath. That's why you want to leave some space here. I'm pressing it down. I'm going to get my canvas pliers. I'm going to try to grab both folds, pull it tight, press it down. I'm switching now to my long staples because I've got all these layers of canvas and I want to make sure that it, that it gets through all those layers of canvas and then one. To the front, still looking good so far. Okay, I'm going to go to the next corner and repeat. So I tighten the side, hold it down with my thumb, press it down this way, fold this corner down, tuck it under. See, it makes a nice Corner. I mean, there's there's a lot of different ways to do this, and this is just what works for me. So if you have a different protocol, you go for it. There we 
go. I've been doing more gallery wraps anymore because um, those floating frames that you see that are that are mount on the back have become very popular. But you can also sell the painting without a frame, and uh, people like that option. And it's nice for the artist who doesn't have to uh, frame the painting if they don't want to. Framing so expensive. I like to work on a table that's tall enough so I don't have to bend over. Um, obviously if I'm doing a really big canvas, and I do often paint on really large canvases, I have to set it on the floor to work on it. And of course it takes a lot more time and care. And you, On the bigger paintings you're going to need a cross brace, but this size you don't really need it. The cross brace keeps it from sagging when you tighten it each way so it doesn't get have a curve. And let's see. Oh, there's my big staple. Yeah. Oops. Okay, so these last two staples, I wasn't pressing the head of it down properly and so they didn't go all the way in. So you just take a hammer. I can lay it down here. Check to see if there's any others that are sticking out, but uh, it's pretty good. All right, and there you have it. So um, I uh, am new to this, uh, and I don't have a lot of subscribers yet. And I would love it if you would su subscribe. I plan on doing more tutorials and uh, explaining my methods and how I run my studio and my business. And if you're interested, subscribe and uh, be sure and leave comments. If you have anything you want to ask, be sh uh, feel free to ask. Uh, my website is followyourartllc.com and uh, be sure and uh, stay in touch. Thank you. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Bye.